name is Sojus, and today we are back again for another video. And um, it's a little bit weird today. Uh, I'm finally hopping in Roblox Studio again for the first time in like, uh, I'd have to say almost three months. It's been a very, very long time since I've come in here. But as you see by the title, we're going to be working a little bit with particles today. So we're going to be messing around. The first thing you want to do is insert your part. And to do that, you can come up here in your in your uh, taskbar, you click your home, and then just click on the part here. All right, so we're gonna just uh, just gonna make this like a little cube, and then we're also going to make it just a little bit transparent so that we can, you know, see the full effect. All right, so. Uh, the first thing uh, you want to do is select your cube or your part and then you want to come over to explore tab and if you do not have it all you want to do is come up to your taskbar click view and then over here to the far left side you will see explorers and property just make sure that your explorers bar is darkened or selected and it should be somewhere on your screen once you have that, you're going to come over to your Explorer. Uh, make sure you have your part selected in your workspace. And you're going to click the little plus button here. And you're going to look for something that says particles. And it should be in the effects section. So we have um, the thing here called the particle emitter. And all you're going to do is click that. And it's going to add it. And then once it is, um, it's going to make it look or not make it look it's going to add like these sparkly things to whatever you have put in your wherever you put your particles in all right so uh what we're going to do is we're going to find an image so we're going to go to view we're going to go to toolbox we're going to make sure that's open and then we're just going to come down to images and we're just going to find something that we might be able to use for this so we can find a circle all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the texture we're just going to copy that and you can get rid of that and then you're going to come to your particle emitter, go down to where it says texture, and then go ahead and paste the new ID into there. And as you see now, we have these circle things, all right? And you can also exit out of your toolbox now, now that we no longer need it. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play around a little bit, and we're going to turn the light emission up all the way. And then... As far as light influence go, it just it varies on the light influence that the light the in-game light has. So it doesn't matter whether you have it all the way up or all the way down right now. As you can see, it kind of it lowers the glow a little bit if you don't have it on. So if you want it to look really shiny, you can go ahead and do that. Now, as far as our size goes, um, of course, you know we should make this like a lot smaller. But there's going to be a little bit more that we're going to be doing to this. So what we're going to do is you're going to select your size and then there's a little three dot button beside it. And basically what this is, is it makes it to where, let's get a little bit better angle on this. And so let's say that these are the particles on the bottom. And, you know, we can make these grow a little bit. And then let's say these are the particles on the end. We can make these smaller or larger. Okay, so to see the, the good effect about this is we're going to come down to uh, an emission. It's going to say lifetime. And we're just going to make that one. All right, so we're just going to make this one. And as you see, uh, you can see how it kind of fades out into nothing. And that's because of our little size number sequence that we have in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around just a little tad bit with this and kind of make it about like that. All right. 
Now that we have this, we're going to add a color gradient. So what you, how you add a color gradient is you're going to go into your particle emitter and click the plus button. And then you are going to actually, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Corrects myself. All right, so you're going to do the same thing you did with your uh, with your size. You're going to select your color. You're going to click the little three dots, and then as you see, a little window will pop up, and it will. This will be kind of like your custom gradient that you can make. So we're going to make the first little part, let's say black, and it gives it a little cool transparency. And then our next color is going to be red. All right. All right. So basically what that does is it makes the individual dots. Um, that's the color gradient of the individual dots. And, you know, it kind of gives it that cool transparent look with, and, you know, if we look at it, we haven't messed with transparency at all. And it makes it look uh, really, really cool. So what we're going to do uh, next is um, we're going to actually drag this one over just a bit. We're going to make the in the middle a little bit more red and then at the very end we're going to make it like a yellow all right <clears throat> and let's come back to size real quick just to make the bottom just a tad bit smaller all right now you can add a squash it doesn't really what it does is it kind of makes the particles thinner and stuff like that which is a new thing that they added and it's that it's really really cool but personally um i just go with something pretty low as far as this because what it does it kind of thins out as it goes up and it really makes it look really really cool all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to where it says rate and we're going to bump that up to like 50. actually you know what let's go All right, so I see we have the cool particles. They're not, they could be thinned out just a little bit more. So we're going to come up with squash and we're probably going to do like three. All right. Makes it look pretty cool. And then, um, you know, it, it, a lot of the particles now, you know, you just kind of have to play around with it. You know, you can upgrade the speed, how fast it goes and stuff like that. Um, personally, I wouldn't go. As far as speed goes, you know, you can kind of mess with it. You know, I think I, I think actually this looks pretty cool. But, you know, I'm kind of like imitate like a little fire in, in this little this little example. But, you know, it, it's a lot of it is, you know, you can play around with it. You know, with a spread angle, you know, you can go 90-90. You know, the particles kind of go everywhere, wherever they want. You know, it's, it's based on angles and stuff like that. And, um, you know, let's do... Let's try a 45 by 45, make that a little bit less. And then what we can do is, um, let's see. Lifetime is good. Rotation. We don't need rotation. Don't need speed. Um, let's make the speed like a two. All right. So, you know, you can kind of, you can really just kind of mess around with it and all these cool particles, but you know, it's just an example and I don't want this video to be too, too extremely long as far as that goes. But, um, you know, you can, you can really just mess around with these and it's really, really cool. You know, you can play around with the colors and all that stuff, you know, we'll, we'll duplicate this one and drag this one over here. You know, we can make, we made this like a light blue and then, you know, we can change this to like, you know, like a purple. Like a light purple and change was let's get rid of that one change this one down here to like a like a white you know and you can just kind of like really really play around with these colors you know it, it's something you know you kind of have to play around with like i think this looks freaking cool this would be like cool like snowy frost effect for like an attack or something like that you know we can take this uh part um uh let's say we can take like a sphere and um, we'll make this just a tad bit smaller. And then what we can do is we can make the transparency like 55.55 or something. Make this like a light blue. 
turn it this to neon you know but sadly with transparency it kind of messes up like a neon so you know you kind of got to play around with it you know we'll do this and then we can just like you know that this will look pretty cool as like a like an ice attack or something you know it, it's particles are are progressively getting better and better as we as roblox updates their studio and stuff like um before we didn't have like the squash effect and you wouldn't believe like how how amazing like how amazing that is now and how much it's changed everything and the cool thing about transparency is that you can also make a number sequence for it so let's say you know you want the bottom to kind of be faded out and then you know you can kind of mess with this and all that cool stuff and it's the same thing for everything you know you just kind of select it and then there's this little three dots over here you can play around with and all that cool stuff but um yeah so that's that's my tutorial on particles um you can mess around with like the shapes and the textures and all this cool stuff and i hope i explained this well enough for you guys to understand for you guys to mess around and play with this and put this in your games and stuff and all that amazing stuff so um yeah um it's been great hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace